Hi, my name is Lucas Knaus, and I am an art major with an illustration concentration as well as a graphic design as well as a photography concentration because I like having no free time at all. I chose illustration for my senior show because illustration is really where my heart's at. It's where my passion is and that's what I really, really, truly enjoy doing. I like photography and I like graphic design just fine, but illustration is my first love. My show is about, well, I made a game. It's a card game and it has all these different characters in it and they all have stats and everything so you can play them in the game. The game also has a board. Uh, it's not a cardboard game though, but it is a card game with a board. And so all the art that's gonna be on the wall is like art that's from the cards. It's art that is on the cards and they're just presenting it on the wall so everybody can look at it like they're big posters of the characters. I chose a board game because I really enjoy making characters and I really enjoy like creating worlds like that and just creating really elaborate concepts. So that was just a great way to bring all of those together into one just beautiful scenario. And it was just a, a fun idea. Making the characters was a really, really fun process. I really, really enjoyed that part of it. Uh, what started out is Swartz sat me down and he said, you need to come up with 30 different archetypes for these characters. So I had these different archetypes, like the hero, the villain, the tyrant. And so I went through and I had to like basically just make up a character that fit that archetype. We would go through the characters and choose which ones seemed like the best ones to move forward with. How long did it take to create a piece? I would say it took me, um, I would say about 55 hours total. And that's including drawing and drawing edits, painting and painting edits, as well as just conceptualizing I created 30 pieces total, but only 18 are actually going to be up on the wall in the show. My first favorite is probably Raid, who is the really big, like the character with the great big cloak and he has the sand all blowing around him. Because he was the character, one of the very first drawings I did, one of the very first drawings I presented to K. Sloan and Swartz. And he's the only one of all those first drawings I did that actually survived it from the initial drawings, like the very, very first drawings all the way to the end. A lot of them fell out and my style just kind of altered and evolved as time went by. Some of them just kind of fell away and just weren't as good as I continued to develop. But the fact that he stayed true through all of that just was just really fun to continue working on that character and just continue improving upon him to get him to the point where he is. And he's going to be the biggest print on the wall when we're done because I'm just like, that's just so great that he lasted so long. He's survived everything. Well, there's definitely a lot of people I owe a lot of thanks to just for this this show and for everything that's happening. Uh, first and foremost would probably be Professor Swartz and Professor K. Sloan. Uh, you guys have held my hand through the whole thing and that you've just been super great just teaching me from since, you know, freshman and onward. So it's been just a great ride with you guys. Uh, I really want to thank my parents for their support and my sister Becca for her support as well. And for Cody Green, I really want to thank you for the suggestion. Uh, I would have never even probably thought to do this if you hadn't brought it up. And uh, Patrick Wright, you have helped me a ton with getting this whole game layout figured out. So I just couldn't have done that without you guys. And so yeah, these are my special thanks. And so yeah, kudos to you guys because you're a big part of this and I greatly appreciate all of your help.